Active 31, Kennedy? Yes, sir. Uh, full short of full left, I have some disappointing news. Apparently there's some kind of system-wide outage and everything stopped for two hours, all aircraft in the NAS. Thank you. For Delta 654 and Delta 520, including Alaska 31, apparently there's some kind of outage nationwide in some system. I'm not sure what's going on, but they put a ground stop in for everyone. They told us two hours right now. The ground stop is everywhere. They send a notice for all aircraft to all destinations. There's some NOTAM issues or something. Something uh, at the command center is, is messed up. Uh, so, yeah, they just issued a ground stop for all the aircraft. You know, uh, you know what it's about? Yeah, this whole NOTAM issue. Have you guys heard about that? Nobody reads those. <laughs> it's uh, looking like it's a nationwide ground stop, so you might want to turn around and call around. Notum was the word on everyone's lips on January 10th and 11th of 2023. Thousands of commercial domestic flights in the U.S. were issued a ground stop, meaning they were held at their gates and prevented from departure. At the core of the issue causing the delays was the FAA's Notum system. NOTAMs, which stands for Notice to Air Missions, are a core part of pre-flight planning. All pilots should be familiar with the requirements in FAR 91103, which mandate familiarity with all available information concerning a flight prior to departure. Such information is largely covered by aeronautical publications such as the VFR and IFR charts, procedure plates, chart supplements, and procedures publications. Things like airport elevation and runway lengths can be found in these publications. These are kept up to date as changes occur, but new products are published only periodically, such as every 56 days, for example. What happens if something crops up before these publications can be updated? Imagine planning for a flight, but two hours before you depart, an aircraft crashes on the only runway and it has to close. Or imagine you're flying IFR at night and the approach lighting system has a malfunction. Inoperative lighting could prevent you from flying a certain instrument approach or require a change to altitude and visibility minimums. These late-breaking changes have to be communicated to pilots in real time. This is what the NOTAM system does. It's like telling a truck driver that the road ahead of them is closed down. It's crucial information. In the airline world, flight plans can't be printed out if this NOTAM system is down. So at first, the FAA set up a hotline to disseminate these notices outside the normal NOTAM system but this was quickly overwhelmed and shut down, leaving a rare ground stop as the only available option. The FAA gathers information and reports from all over and prepares NOTAMs if needed. A disabled aircraft on the runway gets reported by aircraft management to the FAA, for example, and a NOTAM gets issued. These NOTAMs can be accessed through an FAA site. Here are the NOTAMs for College Park. As you can see, they're a bit unwieldy and they still use that all caps type. Electronic flight bags like ForeFlight or airline-specific ones can parse these NOTAMs into easier-to-digest formats, allowing pilots to see which NOTAMs are crucial for their flight. A closed runway or amendment to an instrument procedure is a big one. A new temporary crane a half mile from the runway, while important, isn't as big a priority. ForeFlight or other EFBs offer the best method of checking NOTAMs prior to flight. Without some review of the NOTAMs, it's very difficult to say that you've actually complied with 91103 preflight requirements, and thus the reason for the big ground stop. Maybe the silver lining to NOTAM gate will be an enhanced awareness of them by all pilots.